So we're gonna kind of do some winter testing with Model Y. It's a great time to do it. As you can see, it's still snowing. We just got done with our other test in which we looked at preconditioning of Model S versus Model Y, which is still back there. And went ahead and let the cars cool back down. We're at like 50 or so degrees inside. And we wanna look and see the preheat options for the heated seats, how they work. There's been a lot of questions. Like, does the middle seat in the second row actually heat up on the back? Because you have that big thing that folds down so that you can actually have like a cup holder. Is there heat in that? I don't know. It's a good time to find out. And we'll go ahead and compare it to good old trusty Model S here. And we're gonna use a trusty little FLIR. I don't know if you can, can see that, hopefully you can. This actually is the USB-C version. It plugs directly into your phone, and that's what we used in the last video. We've used it in a bunch of other videos. They're awesome devices. They are kind of pricey. If you want one though, I'll leave them in a link down below and you can check them out. I think they're just a couple hundred bucks still. It is kind of nice so you can do stuff like this and also like heat in your house if you want to see where heat's escaping and stuff like that. It's just kind of a fun tool to have and actually pretty useful. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, what we're gonna do is probably just crack these windows down to maybe like here and same on this side so I can just stick my phone with the FLIR in the car and we can see exactly how it's working with the seat heaters without having to actually like keep opening and closing the door. So let me go ahead and roll down some windows, get everything set up and let's get started. Okay, so we just started the test. You can actually kind of see we got the windows lowered on both of them. Um, let's go ahead and see. I literally just turned it on and you can already see it heating up. You can see how it all works. And then we'll look at the back. Oh, it does look like there is no heating in that fold down. Okay. Now let's go over to Model S. Looks like I forgot to hit that on right away. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes with the seat heaters on. So let's go ahead and jump in and check out exactly how it's looking. Again, this is Model Y. You can see the heat elements back here. It's pretty darn toasty. You got the butt heat elements, gotta love those. And then there's the driver's side. And then here is the rear seats. See if we can get them all in. So you can see those actually heat up all the way. Down here, the middle seat does have a butt warmer, which we love, but it does not have a back warmer. And then there is the other passenger seat in the back. Now, you can kind of see some cracks around here. Let's see. Okay. Nothing in there is heated at all. But I mean, it's actually not bad. And the heat's been on too, so. It, it heats up pretty darn quick actually, at least. Okay, so over here in Model S. Let's see how everything looks. Let me go ahead and turn off the heat. Okay, I think you see these, the side bolsters are heated. I don't believe that's how it was on the Y. It goes all the way to the edge. And pretty much all the way up. You even have this around the neck area, which is interesting. And then here's the driver's side, so you can see that. The great thing, though, is look at that. Heated steering wheel. I absolutely love it. 105 degrees. Oh, I gotta feel that. Oh my god, it's so nice. I really wish Model Y had this. That should be an option, I think, for 3 and Y that people would pay 
good money for, or at least maybe I'm speaking for myself, I would pay good money for that. But here you can see on the driver's side and going to the back. So this is a Model S, which does not have any kind of fold down thing on this middle row seat. So as you can see, all three of these are heated and look pretty much identical. And then they all have butt heat. The butt heat actually appeared to be a little bit warmer and more uh, concentrated in the Y. And these just kind of have like two main things going up. Whereas the Y, we'll jump back over to it. It's been off for a second, but you can see like how much more concentrated it is on these and on the back. It's much bigger units. And then the front of S, you can see right here. And now the front of Y almost goes to the edge, not quite as much. No side bolsters though. And the back. So it stops here, but there's still this big gap like right here that doesn't have anything, whereas it does in Model S. So back here on the Y, this is the part that is not heated at all. Um, it's pretty much just this intersection right here this intersection and it comes up to about here whereas on model s which luckily is right next door it almost heats basically to the edge here we got side bolster heat all this is heated and then on the actual seat back you got some side bolster heat all this is heated and it comes up to the headrest and everything right here yeah model y didn't have that also on the back seats of y it came out to about here. It was just this section right here. Again, not up here or anything, just this intersection and nothing right here. And then on Model S, it was basically like kind of like right here and then just one on either side of the strip ending right here. So it was actually kind of interesting how it's just like two main heat elements for all that. Okay, so there you kind of have it. FLIR S versus FLIR Model Y. It was something I was curious about. I was hoping that, that would be heated some way, but actually it's not heated in Model 3 either, I believe, which makes sense because it does fold so that you have like an armrest and cup holders, which is a very nice feature. But to be honest, so is heated seats depending on where you live. Now the biggest thing I'm kind of disappointed on is the steering wheel. Now I said this a lot with Model 3, I'll say it again with Model Y. For the price point with the premium interior and everything, I definitely think those should be heated steering wheels. Model S and X have that. I understand they want to keep some things different between the two and have the S and X more premium feel, but a heated steering wheel with like the performance models or the all wheel drive variants or the ones with the premium interior would be very, very nice to have. I would absolutely love that because even with the synthetic steering wheel, which does heat up a lot faster than leather, in my opinion, maybe we'll have to do a test on that. It still gets kind of cold. So normally in the winter, I still keep driving gloves in the car, which sounds kind of funny, but I do keep driving gloves in the car just because my hands can get kind of cold. Now, if you want, you can just go in here and turn on the heat to blow on the steering wheel. That will help heat it up a little bit faster too. Just kind of redirect it. Normally I try to keep it so that this airflow on the steering wheel is kind of coming through it at me, um, but you can manipulate it however you feel that you need to, to make sure you stay warm. It's actually kind of nippy in here right now. It is 25 degrees outside, so it is kind of cold in here. But nice thing is my butt's nice and toasty and my back is nice and toasty because we had those heated seats on. I will say though, I definitely think in the rear of Model Y versus Model S, I think the coverage for the butt is actually better in Model Y, as well as the seat backs themselves. It almost feels like the second row is probably a little better than S. However, for the front two seats, S does have those side bolsters heated and stuff like that, which really just kind of helps make you feel all snugged up. As well as this gap right here on Y, 
is not heated, but in S it is. Only this section is heated. So just some things to think about. We wanted to go ahead and show you this since we do have this FLIR. But yeah, definitely let us know if there is something you want to see done with the FLIR. If there's any questions you guys had, I'll go ahead and answer them down below. So just leave them down there. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your model SX3 or Model Y, much like this one, definitely check them out. I'll link down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. My two must have accessories are definitely gonna be a center console wrap. Not only will it help protect the gloss black material that Tesla uses because it can scratch and show fingerprints very easily, but it'll also make your car your own. You can do all different kinds of colors based on what they have online. It's just a nice, easy mod that you can do yourself and then just remove it if you want to sell the car or something and everything underneath will be kept just as it was from the factory. And my second is definitely going to be a matte screen protector. It really helps cut down any glare from the sun as well as any fingerprints because we all know that is probably the most touched thing in this car. And I hate seeing fingerprints and glare can really distract you. And this rids both of those. So definitely check them out. Huge thanks to them though for everything they have done for the channel and helping bring this for you guys. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.